use of traditional undermined soil management techniques in order to improve soil conditions and vineyard performance. Traditionally, most Australian vineyards are managed to maintain a bare undervine strip. There are many advantages to using a system like this. The major benefit of maintaining a weed-free undervine area is that there's no competition with the vines for water and nutrition. Bare soil undervine also provides a high level of solar reflection and heat. In some situations, this may protect vines against spring frost. A clear herbicide undervine strip is relatively easy to manage and cost effective to maintain. A bare soil undervine also comes with disadvantages. Long term reliance on synthetic herbicides can lead to herbicide resistance in weeds. It's important to follow a herbicide resistance management strategy to avoid this occurring. Plant roots provide many important functions in soil. Plant roots provide an important food source for soil organisms, including bacteria, fungi, protozoa, insects and earthworms. Without plant roots, soils are limited in the diversity of soil biology that they can support, and this reduces the potential for the natural cycling of nutrients in the soil. Without plants and with limited soil biological activity, some soils are prone to surface water pooling, especially under drip irrigation. These soils tend to have poor water infiltration and uneven distribution of soil moisture through the soil profile. The higher solar radiation and reflection caused by bare undervine soils can significantly increase the vine canopy temperature. At very high temperatures this can be detrimental to the fruit and vines. Two alternatives to bare undervine soils include allowing plants to grow under the vines and the use of compost and mulch. Plant roots can penetrate compact soils and provide a pathway for water to infiltrate. Improved soil structure, moisture and the addition of a food source make soils more conducive to soil biological activity. Plants grown under vines compete with the vines for soil moisture and nutrients. If the competition is great Vines may have decreased shoot growth and yield. This is exacerbated when water supplies are limited. This figure shows the drying pattern of an undervined soil with weeds growing in it, the red line, and a neighbouring soil without weeds, the blue line. It's clear that the soil with the weeds growing in it is drier than the weed free soil. In this vineyard, despite early season increases in soil biological activity, which was beneficial in the vineyard, the vines growing with undervine weeds for four years had a 30% decrease in yield with no improvement in fruit or wine composition. In some cases where vine growth is excessively vigorous or yield is very high, reductions in canopy growth and yield may have a positive effect on overall vine balance and improved fruit and wine composition. Changes to undervine soil management requires evaluation of the risks and benefits to soil condition and vine performance. Additional resources to assist your decision making can be accessed at the following websites.